guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit a video in Camtasia Studio 8. Alright, so I'm here on my Facebook profile, and I just wanted to say hello to you guys. Uh, feel free to add me as a friend, or uh, message me if you have any more questions on this video. Alright, so let's get right into it. You want to open your Camtasia Studio and you want to import all the files that you need. So this may be the actual um, clips um, that you're wanting to mesh up together, an intro or an outro or some audio. So in this case, I'm going to be importing a tutorial I did and the intro that we put on all of our videos. Alright, so once you have your stuff uploaded, you want to start dragging them onto the timeline here. So first thing I'm going to do is, going to I'm going to, this is an intro that's already done, so there's no editing that needs to be done on it. It just needs to be placed at the beginning and at the end. And I edited this in Camtasia prior, so that I wouldn't have to do it every single time, I just pop it in. So I'm going to drag that first and when you first drag something over, it's, it might ask you to change the dimensions. I always change it to 1280 by 720 because I'm always using these videos for YouTube and I want them to be of best quality. So now that I've uploaded the intro, I've got to upload the meat of the video. So the actual like how to tutorial. So when you're looking at this, you want to clip the beginning part of it. So I can see here that I made a couple mistakes without even hearing it. I can see that I've made a couple mistakes because there's a blank part, there's some audio, blank part, audio, and then um, blank part, and then audio for a longer period of time. So that means I got it on the third time. So let's just play that to make sure. Hey guys, hey guys, how's, how's it, going? it going? It's, it's Jewel Tolentino, Tolentino here, here, and in, and this, in this video, video I'm going to... Alright, so that is the part where you want to clip, and um, if you want to zoom in to see where you're clipping, you just click on this larger magnifying glass, and you move the little dial here, and you click split, and you want to delete all that beginning part, right? Because that part was all mistakes. So you can click that, um, you want to click control, click this one, and then it turns blue, and then once you have all of them blue, you, they're, they're all highlighted and you can now delete it. So you can click the delete button, or you can right click and click delete. So I'm highlighting again, control, and I'm clicking on it, and I just want to shimmy all this over because that's where I begin. So I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can see what's going on here and I'm going to push it up against the intro so now we've got hey guys, hey guys how's, how's it going? going? it's, it's Jewel Tolentino, Tolentino here, here. alright so I'm gonna make this little video of me a little bigger hold on if you make a mistake just click control Z and it'll go back to the previous step that you just did oh I just made a mistake again so I'm going to click within that little box and then I'm going to open it. All right. So, you want to go through your entire video and make sure that there aren't any mistakes or things that are taking too long. You want to have it um like let's say you're uploading something and it took like 20 minutes to upload. You don't want to have the 20 minutes of it uploading. You want to have it in the beginning and then just as it ends. So let's see if we can find an edit here. On this topic that I'm about to talk about, and uh, let's just and uh, let's just dive right into the tip. All right, so I made a mistake there when I said let's just. So I'm going to again zoom in, and I'm going to clip that part out because I say it twice. So I've highlighted, and now I'm going to click the split tool, and I want to move the cursor over to when I do actually get it right. Highlight it. 
split tool, then highlight this part in the middle, which is the mistake, click delete, and now you've got this gap, so you want to fill that. And you want to click the control, highlight, click on each bar, and drag it over and fill that gap. So now it flows through. All right, so that part is fixed. Um, I'm not going to go through the entire video because this video is eight minutes long and if I were to go through editing each thing, it wouldn't be that exciting and this video would probably be like 40 minutes long. So I just wanted to show you a quick uh, thing of editing a clip. I'm now going to go through the entire thing and remove all of my mistakes and dead air and things like that, that things that don't need to be in the video. Once I've done that, I'm going to, let's clip the, the end here. See you in the next video. Ooh. So we'll stop that when I say see you in the next video. And I clip that, let's click the split tool, and highlight these, and you want to click delete. And I'm going to add our little, it's our intro and our outro. So I add that at the end again for branding. So in a nutshell, it is you add your little intro or beginning or title, right? Then you add your main content and then an outro. And there are things here that you can do to um, zoom in or pan or add transitions. And I'll just show you those real quick right now. So from the intro to the actual first clip, I want to transition, right? So it'll go a little smoother. So I'm going to choose one here, and I usually choose like a fade or a flip. So I'm going to choose the flip. When you choose one, you just want to click on it, and you want to drag it, and you want to put it in between the clips that you want it to happen. So I've now put that there, that little yellow thing, that is a transition. So let's just show that. Oh, sorry if it's too loud. Hey guys, how's it going? It's so you saw that transition, it did a little flippy thing and then it's me. So it's a, a nice little way to connect like um, the intro and the starting of the video. So we'll put that there and then let's say I wanted to zoom in and pan on something. So you wanna click the zoom and pan button and I, let's say I wanted to zoom in on um, this quote post or something I did. So let's zoom it on there. And then I want to do like a pan across. So I'll start it from here and then let's just see what that looks like. Hey guys, how's it going? It's so cool we've zoomed in right but now we need to pan so now that we're in that location we need it to move across so you want to move the cursor forward in the timeline to where you want it to stop and I'll show you because this might be confusing to you so before we were here right it ends there with it zooming in on this part of the video, right? It's like close up on my July 16th post. But now I want it to pan across so that you can see the rest of the post. So you move the cursor more forward in the timeline and then here you want to move this over so that it's panning across whatever you like. So now you've got these two little blue things and I'll show you what what that means. So now I'm going to click play. So hey guys, how's it going? we're zooming in here. and, and in then video, now we're panning. So you just saw that there. It zoomed in and then it panned across. And you can do this for things like if you're showing someone something on the computer and you want to go close up and um, it's a cool feature when you can pan over it like if it's like a long piece of text or something like that. 
So that's how you use the zoom and pan feature. And when you are done editing, done doing everything, you want to click produce and share. And these are the features that I do every single time. I've never done anything else. I always go MP4 up to 720p, MP4 only, and then HD icon. I click that because I want it to be of the highest, um, the highest resolution because it's going on YouTube. So I click next, and then you name it. So it's like test video tutorial. If it's the final of a video, if it's the final product, I'll usually put the word final in all capitals. And then you click finish. Then it starts rendering. So I'm going to pause the video here. Then when it's done, I'm going to show you what it looks like. All right, so now that the video is completed, a couple of things are going to happen. So right now the video actually pops up. I'm going to X out of that and you want to open the production folder. I usually take this file and I drag it onto my desktop. Alright, so this is the test video that we just did and that is basically how you edit a video in Camtasia Studio 8. Um, if you have any questions about specific things in Camtasia, um, put it in the comments below um, and I'll possibly create a tutorial on that. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If we've provided you with any value, please let us know by giving us a like, subscribe, a comment. All of that would be very much appreciated. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.